have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. Alright YouTube, listen, I got another cooking video for you. And you know, all the recipes I give you are always delicious. This one right here is going to be very simple. It's going to be how to make the perfect drumsticks. Normally I like to use a smoker, but I know a lot of people does not have a smoker. So today we will keep it inside. Plus it is very cold outside, so I don't want to freeze. We're going to do this in the oven. And all you will need to do is just get you a pack of drumsticks. I actually got me two because I'm going to eat a whole pack myself and let my family split a pack for them. And honestly, I'll probably eat half of theirs too. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and set your oven to 400 Fahrenheit and let that go ahead and be preheating and warming up. And then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and prepare your chicken. And to get the skin off, I just always put my thumb under here and I just grab it and I pull that skin right off the bone just like that. We're going to make two slits. So come over here and make a slit right there down to the bone and a slit right there down to the bone and then flip it on the other side and just split it down to the bone. Same exact thing. Two slits all the way down to the bone. It's going to make the flavor get in there. It's going to taste better and it's going to be juicier. Here's the seasonings we're going to use. We got Memphis Pit Barbecue Rub. We got black peppercorn. We got some brown sugar. We got some sea salt. We got some Southwest Chipotle. We got some garlic powder. We got some rosemary. We got some oregano. We got some thyme. And we got some paprika. And we got some coconut oil. I usually use about a, anywhere from a half a tablespoon all the way up to two tablespoons of each item and I mix it up together and that's what it should look like. Okay, now this is what we want to do. We already got our seasoning, we already got our chicken cut, and we got our oven already preheated. So now it's time to mix everything together. We're going to take some coconut oil and we're just going to give it a couple little splashes. You don't have to measure it out. You don't want too much though. You're just going to take that and then you're going to take your seasoning and you're just going to sprinkle it all over the chicken. Just like that. And then you're just going to mix it all together. Just massage it all the way in. And like right here where we cut the chicken, I want you to go ahead and massage it in all those slits. That's going to get that flavor deep inside of the chicken. It's just going to have so much flavor. So try to get each individual piece and massage it in all those slits. This is going to be some great chicken. We're just going to lightly just spray our pan. Now I got the oven roasted pan. What I got is a big old pan and actually I put water in the bottom of it. So this whole pan is filled halfway up with water and my pan wasn't big enough so I just covered this up with aluminum foil to keep all that heat in there. That water is going to make the chicken so much more moist. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to start lining these chickens right on this pan. Now we got everything ready. Our oven's already preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We got the water in our pan. We got it all covered up. We got our chicken with all the lovely seasonings. We got the slits in it. This chicken is about to come out phenomenal. Now I'm not going to give you an exact time because all cooking times are going to vary. Depending on the size of your oven, it could be anywhere from 20 all the way up to 45 minutes. So as this finishes cooking and reaches 165 degrees internal temperature, I will let you know how long it took. We're going to put this right in the oven and I'll let you see what it looks like after. And after 30 minutes, your chicken should be done. But always get you a little meat thermometer and make sure that it is at least 165 degrees internal temperature. So I usually just find the biggest piece, and this looks like the biggest piece, and I just stick it in the middle of it. That means it is done. So it is time for a taste test. Now for everybody's favorite part, and especially mine, we're going to taste what this chicken tastes like. Now just appearance, it looks really good. You can tell that the season is deep into the bone. Like it is just, it looks really juicy. So we're just going to dive right into it. Oh yeah. Oh man. That water trick that I told you to do makes that juice, that, the chicken is just so, look, you can just pull chicken off like it's, Pull, just, oh Alright, come here real quick. I'm gonna let my daughter, she's getting the hair done, but I'm gonna let her show y'all that I'm not exaggerating. But this chicken is like the bomb diggity. Take a bite of this right here. I look funny. Let's take a bite. Oh. It's a little hot. What are you That's talking about? really good. Juicy? Mm -hmm. What's it need? It's about spot on, ain't it? Mm -hmm. 
this is gain certified. I'm telling y'all, definitely try this routine. The prep time is only like five minutes. The cook time is only like 30 minutes. I promise you, you will really, really enjoy it. If you got picky eaters in your house, just like my daughter, mm -hmm. I guarantee you they will still enjoy it. So go ahead and give this a try. And once you try it, tell me how you like it. Tell me what you think it could have needed or what you didn't like about it. And we'll make it even better. But I'm telling you, this is perfect. It's juicy and full of flavor. Like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. <laughs> Wow. Muscle gain, sir.